is Amy Sunby, and I'm on pbskids.org, and I'm going to show you a ELR called the Dinosaur Train, and it is definitely appropriate for pre-K to second grade. Um, after that, it gets a little juvenile, um, but it's really easy to navigate. This uh, symbol right here that says Dinosaur Train on it always brings you back to this homepage, and then there's a menu bar on top that's really simple and explicit and it uses pictures along with the word so if you have pre-readers um, they're able to figure out what you want I mean, so you can see the train is the games and um, I'm going to show you the field guide first which is so you can hear that it um, every time you click on something with print it also reads the print out for you bigger than 10 Tyrannosaurus. So you can together. hear information that it tells you, and you can do it with any of the dinosaurs listed down here. There's a whole menu bar of dinosaurs that you can go through to learn about. You can look at their x-ray, which is really cool. You can this look at how tall they nine were. Kids tall. And you can see that the measuring units that they used was um, in children's height. And so it's a measurement that, you know, even four-year-olds are familiar with. It's just the height of their own oh, body. Okay. So it's a really simple. If they don't know what meters or feet are, that might not be that accessible to some students. This dinosaur was a herbivore from the Cretaceous. You can um, even though it was taller than eat. an elephant, it probably fed on leaves close to the ground. And again, it, it um, says it to you out loud in addition to showing you the picture. And then down here, you can click on facts about the dinosaur. So this is kind of the reference part of this website. Um, obviously, just reference for dinosaurs and. Okay. I'll show you some of the games. <laughs> hungry Hungry Herbivore it doesn't really align with many standards. I mean, it, it definitely develops fine motor skills, which is good. Um, and also just reiterates that herbivores eat plants. Um, the How Big Are You is a great math game for um, estimation, for learning estimation. As conductor, as you can guess how big they are. You have to guess how big they are. They get enough leg room on the train. About how many alligators long is this? So first, I'll show you what happens. Three, five, or seven. First, I'll show you what happens if you estimate correctly. Let's measure this Triceratops to see if you're right. One, two, three. This Triceratops is three alligators long. So I like this section because it doesn't tell you immediately if you're right or wrong. It, it has you try it out first. Um, so it's not yes or no. It, it goes through and shows you how you should be testing your math out to see if you're right or not. So I'll show you what happens if you get it wrong. Let's measure this Tyrannosaurus. To see if you're right. Again, didn't tell One, us if we were right two, or wrong. It said, let's test it out and see. Five, six, seven, eight. And then it shows this you the correct answer. So I like that feature. Dolphins um, long. The part of this feature it's that I do not like guess. is that if you guess um, a number that's too big, long is this? it doesn't the show you how, two, three, how much past four, it goes, six. which would be, I think, helpful, but minor detail. So that's how you, you play that game. game. And then in the turn on fishing, I won't go through this because it kind of takes a while, pond. but you just hit the play button down here. Click on a fish. And then you oh, click on the fish on that are near the fish. surface. Quick, tiny. And then he dives and gets them. And you then eventually, um, Quick, tiny. when he's eaten all of his fish, it counts all the fish you out for it. you. So it, you know, the one-to-one -one correspondence. Quick, Goes you with it, and I won't take the whole game because it's game. long. But um, those are all the games, and then you can go up to the video. So if if you learn better by watching a video, there are a bunch of different videos you can watch. The whole menu full. So that's a neat feature too. So you can access information through games, through reference, through video, um, lots of different things. And as far as for teachers, it's really nice. Um, you just go down here in the for teacher section, and it shows you all the things that you need under control. Like you need the latest Adobe, you need the latest Flash, um, and you're and you need to be on the internet in order to access the game. 
um, but it walks you through all of those steps. And it is free, and there's no trial period or anything, so um, always good. <laughs> so if you're looking for an ELR that's age-appropriate for pre-K to second grade, this is a great one. Um, it's really interactive, lots of noises, it's funny, the dinosaurs make old jokes. Um, it's differentiated for readers and pre-readers. Um, it aligns with lots of different standards for the younger grades. Um, there's lots of life science and animals, dinosaurs, math, uh, the counting, measuring, comparing, estimating. Um, so yeah, so I really liked this ELR.